This is how a Share the Beach volunteer found one of the 59 nests they've discovered along Alabama's beaches this nesting season. A large hole had been dug into the sand, revealing the protective screen and coming dangerously close to the egg chamber. It looks like somebody came from the side of that screen and dug at an angle down toward the center, just aiming for the clutch, trying to get in there for whatever reason. Fortunately, the egg chamber was untouched and it's hopeful they will soon hatch. It's believed to be a loggerhead turtle nest, which are common along Baldwin County beaches, and females can lay between 80 and 120 eggs. With all the education and efforts to protect the nests, Share the Beach director, Sarah Johnson, says it's discouraging when something like this happens. Just respect nature and let it be. You know, we all are very curious about things. So whether this was curiosity or someone trying to be funny or truly malicious intent, uh, there's no reason to disturb it. You know, let nature kind of exist from a distance and, and do its own thing would be my biggest message. Johnson says it happened in the overnight hours, Monday into Tuesday morning between midnight and 5 a.m. One of their volunteers found the nest while making rounds. Fox 10 News has been asked to keep the exact location to the nest secret to avoid extra attention. The Chaffin family has been vacationing here all week and have been watching the nest. They and others on that stretch of beach are disappointed that someone would do this. It was definitely, you know, somebody doing something they knew they weren't supposed to be doing. Um, now, luckily, hopefully, they didn't get down to the eggs. It's a bit outrageous. There's like orange tape everywhere. It's pretty obvious. Like, don't really mess with the sea turtles. Like, what'd they do to you? Loggerhead turtles and their nests are protected under the U.S. Endangered Species Act. Now, what was done to this nest could bring a fine of, of up to $100,000, federal charges as well, jail time. So. Uh, if you have any idea who might have done this, you're asked to call Orange Beach Police. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.